still dumbfounded about the issue of black on black. We should be embracing each other and watching each other's back. Instead, we allow ourselves to separate in different classes, poor, middle, and the upper class. The poor blacks are the ones most likely are showcased on the news. If they're not being carted off to jail, they are shown as people who doesn't have a clue. Then there's the well-to-do upper-class black, probably showing off to their own family what they don't like. When family crisis arises, they are the last to render help, but getting from which they came, they can only think of themselves. With this attitude, I got mine, so go out and get yours. They don't believe that black lives can be such a chore. Now the poor black will seek out those who are well to do. To survive, they will rob them because, for some, it's the only thing they know how to do. Then again, our justice system don't help our cause. A 20 or less sitting for killing one our own is what they know they will draw. Death sin is mandatory for killing a white. Breaking down the value of a black man's life just isn't right. An undercurrent of rules stirs us to attack each other, forgetting the Black Panther days of teaching us to unite as sisters and brothers. Oh, I haven't forgotten the middle class and what they mean to us. Everything seemed to be dropped on them. No wonder they find it hard to trust. Before the ghetto became a ghetto, they were once thriving town, diverting city money to those who needed the left, started the criminal underground. What is said, middle class East Day become part of the poor. When it's time to act for help, all they get are closed doors. In the wealthiest nation on earth, why do we have hunger? Why only 2% of the population hoarding all the money? Make you scratch your head and wonder. Stealing and killing anyone, whether they black or white, is still wrong. But taking the time to embrace everyone we have a population that will stand together strong. <laughs>